Recently, I decided to open two new copy trading positions, but this time I didn't just want to copy a famous popular investor that already has hundreds or thousands of copiers. I was more interested in copying some smaller traders just to see who is out there and what we can learn from them. Hey everyone, hope you're doing great. In this video, I'm gonna open two new copy trading positions on eToro. All right, along with that, I will show you how and why I decided to copy them. I will also show you how to copy a trader exactly. So I will literally open the trade on this video. So I'll show you what to look for and how to do it correctly. eToro is one of the platforms I use to trade and invest on. They're also very popular, especially for their copy trading function. So if you are also interested in using eToro for trading or investing or copy trading, you can find the sign up link down below in the description box. Okay, so let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Minika. This is Mind Leaves. If you are new here, we usually talk about freedom, finance, and purpose. So if you are interested in more content like this, you can subscribe down below. So if you haven't copy traded before, I did make a video on copy trading for beginners up here. So I just go into detail on how to select a copy trader for your exact needs and also just show you some functions on eToro that you might need to be aware of uh, when starting out. Also some other videos on eToro, especially the one about fees. So just to make sure you are aware of the fees and how you can avoid most of them and save some money. If you have been following MindLeaves, you know that I already did some copy trading over on eToro and I also revealed my profits over five months in the video up here. Recently, I decided to open two new copy trading positions, but this time I didn't just want to copy a famous popular investor that already has hundreds or thousands of copiers. I was more interested in copying some smaller traders just to see who is out there and what we can learn from them. A reminder, I use my husband's eToro platform to copy other traders and not my own just because I am busy building a different, more long-term focused portfolio on my own account. Uh, you can consider following my trades if they fit into your investment plan. The link is also in the description box down below. Okay, so the first trader that crossed my radar was McLovin12345. Okay, so firstly, I liked his profile because as you can see, he's not a popular investor yet. He only has three copiers and fits the description for this video. So I took some time to evaluate him, looking at his risk score and his performance history on eToro, and his bio was good. Okay, I enjoyed his dollar cost average strategy as that is something I completely believe in as well. And he assured that his portfolio was structured with long-term vision. Okay, so I went over his portfolio. First off, I like the allocation towards ETFs taking up a big cut, as well as the type of ETFs he is invested in. I spent some time here, and I ultimately felt he has a widely distributed portfolio worldwide in all the asset classes. Okay, so I feel comfortable copying him. So how much will I copy him with? Well, this is an important decision because usually the investors will tell you in their bio or top feed post how much is necessary to copy them with. Now it's very important to copy them with the amount they say because otherwise all their trades might not open up. So for instance, if McLovin says you should copy him with $1,000 but I only copy him with $500, some of the trades will not open up because there is not enough money to open all of them. All right, so I have made this mistake in the past and then your copy will not be as successful because it does not track the copy trader's full portfolio and therefore the results might be skewed to what the trader actually plans and accomplishes. Okay, so I went back to McLovin's bio and I saw he did stay to copy him with a minimum of $1,000. So let's open the trade. It is also important to click on the copy open trades box because if you don't click this box, the amount that you copy in with will only be used to copy any future trades from this point onwards. Therefore, all the trades that he is currently holding. So therefore, all the trades that he is currently holding and you most likely want to copy already will not open. So just click copy open trades to copy the trader fully. Okay, I always like to put in a stop copy or stop loss at 20% of my investment amount. So that means if the amount I copy the trader with drops with 20%, eToro will automatically close my position on the trader. You could obviously give the trader a bit more room to play with, like 30% or 40%, 
but I feel comfortable with 20%. Okay, the trade is open. Okay, so the second trader that crossed my radar was Amar signed 1234. So Amar is already a popular investor, champion level, but I felt if you're not sure what champion level and all the stars mean, I will link the video up here as well. Okay, but I felt he would be great for this video because he still only has 12 copiers at the present time. Okay, so I dissected his profile and portfolio similarly to Matt Lovins. So he has a fiber score, which I'm okay with. I like his performance history a lot though. Looking at his portfolio, he is heavily invested in stocks within the technology sector and some cryptos on the side. So I do like the stocks he holds. There are also some stocks that I have. Okay, so so far, so good. Okay, so looking at his bio, you can see he states that copying him with $200 would be efficient to open all trades, but eToro increased the minimum amount to $500, so this will definitely be enough for now at this present time to open all his trades when we copy him. Okay, so here you can also see he has a YouTube channel where he probably posts videos on his trades and other market related content, which is cool. And you can see he has also a long term goal with his portfolio, something that I like. Okay, but overall I felt comfortable with copying him too. As you can see, I already opened this trade a couple of days ago and it's already in the green for now. So my plan is to hold both of these positions open for at least six months. And then I will assess the performance during this time. So you can be on the lookout for an update on these trades in about two months time. Okay, so just to finish off this video, one of the reasons that I really like copy trading is because of the learning experience that comes along with it. I for one still has a lot to learn in this space and this gives me a good opportunity just to see how other traders think and act and how they diversify their investments and structure their portfolios. And that's a wrap for this video. I really hope you found this video worthwhile. Feel free to share your thoughts down below or any great copiers that you are currently copying. A like is always appreciated. Thanks again for watching. My name is Minika, this is Mind Leaves. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and a healthy, wealthy life. I will see you in the next one. Bye.